Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan, the final season, part 2, episode number 6. Okay, uh, the previous episode, it was, uh, most of it was like a flashback episode, a flashback of Ymir. Um, we get to see what actually happened, the actual past. Like we all, up until this time, we have been hearing about the past from different people, how they interpreted it. And like, you know, there was this whole thing about uh, a few people saying like, oh, the Marlians, like, you know, like did it. And there were a few people like, oh, like uh, are like, you know, the Eldians, like we are the ones who are at fault. And like, there's a lot of things going on, but turns out it was a little different than I expected it. You know, I thought it, it I, I really thought it was going to be the Marlians who actually did it. And it's like, they're like, using these uh, false uh, statements to teach everyone like oh like you know Yumi was at fault i thought it was going to go in that direction but turns out it was actually the eldians you know uh, the king who like you know kind of did this whole thing and Yumi was also a victim Yumi was not uh, the person who like you know instigated this Yumi was also a victim of this whole situation and uh, you know we see how she has up until now she has been treated as a slave and how like you know she like you know her core has been kind of molded in that fashion like that's why like you know when he i'm guessing when she even had the chance of like you know rebelling she never did it she just you know like just did it you know even even though like you know she did not want to and like it, it was a very messed up past as we can see like you know like and Ymir also, you know, had to bear, uh, like, you know, the king child children for, like, you know, her, his plan to come into, like, you know, fruition and all, all that stuff. And, um, you know, we also get to, uh, like, you know, get to see how she got the founder's power. There was this weird parasite, or the spine looking thing that stuck into her. We still don't know what that actually is, you know, uh, but that was the main reason and you know like everything started she became the founder titan and all that stuff and uh, now she is basically in the coordinate like you know making titans and she's still like you know following the royal like you know family's uh, orders which obviously Aaron did not like you know <laughs> appreciate that like when zeke was like you know shouting like like this is my order do it and you know like Ymir was just going on her way to do it and just yanked his hand off completely and went and stopped her and told her that yeah like like we like you know let's change this let's change this whole thing um and i guess Ymir like you know something snapped within Ymir and uh, and probably has the power now i don't know what's going to happen after this Eren got the founder's power and like you know like the whole thing and he contacted everyone, all the subjects of Ymir, and said what his plan actually is. His plan is to destroy everything, excepting this island. Ex uh, except Paradise Island, everything he wants to destroy. So that no one can come and take their freedom away from him. Them. So let's see what happens after this. Like This is a huge plan. So yeah. Alright, so uh, this is episode number 6 of Attack on Titan, the final season, part 2. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh yeah, the, like, he unleashed the titans on, on the, in the wall. Oh boy, Gabi. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what's up. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Great. <laughs> wow. So, um, <clears throat> like so like i can kind of like obviously it, it it can be i can i can understand what's happening like this is like like two things like two parallels or whatever you call it um zeke wants to make it as if like you know what can i say like he wants to make the euthanization plan succeed he wants to restrict themselves you know like that is the ldns like if we don't even have any kids like this we don't have to get into this whole thing while aaron is like the complete opposite he's like no why should we like you know do this to ourselves they are the ones who are at fault. We're going to destroy them. Like that's basically it. Like you know, like two extremes of the spectrum. Thor. Okay. All right, everyone's here. Damn. Wait, Leon. Oh boy, oh every, okay, yeah, 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 everyone got, oh, great. Okay, I, I, so oh, everyone, all right, I did not realize that. Yeah. What? Who would? Oh really? I, I I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah that. Ah uh, oh, boy, yeah. Hmm. Oh boy. <clears throat> Escape airships. Well, like everyone got to know, didn't? Oh, I, I guess they don't know about that. Yeah. Like, oh boy, this is like a... Hmm. Oh boy. Oh no, here we go. What? Okay. What is this? What is happening? Is she becoming Aaron? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Like <laughs> Great, now there's two Aaron's. And I'm joking. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Yeah. Well, that's I that's debatable, you know. Ah, I don't know. Like this thing that John says is debatable. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah like oh boy like like this is too too much like you know like oh Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Oh, what the? Okay, well. Oh, my God. What? Um, yeah, like, like nowhere's like safe place now. Do we need? Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Ah. Oh. Okay, oh my god. Ooh, it's like Okay, Connie. Oh, yo. What, what the hell? Oh my God. N not at this. Oh, I understand Connie's like, you know, like obviously it's, it's an emotional thing, but. <sighs> Great. What? Oh. Great. Okay, so Aaron is unable to control all of them. I'm guessing he's probably able to only control the ones in the walls. Is that? Like, oh no, 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 look out. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. 
All right, can someone please? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Who was that? Gabi? Yeah, there you go. All right. Get the nape. Yes. Wait. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, well. Okay. Oh boy. <coughs> who, who gave you that information? Ben, oh. Yes. Okay, yo, guys, not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um Okay. Well that takes care of that. Okay, well. Hmm. <laughs> okay thank god like they're actually like you know kind of talking and making up the devil in me Yeah. <clears throat> Save the forest. Oh God. Um. Okay. Wait, who's this? Who's this? Wait. Oh, that's um the commander. I forgot his name. The one who trained Aaron. Shadis, yeah. Okay. Ah, yo, move. Okay. Ah. All right. <laughs> wow, okay, so Ah, oh, this music. Let's 
Like this, this really like you kind know, of kind of reminds me of the first season, you know, where they kind of use a gun, you know, in like a circle formation to attack the titans, you know, in the eyes, and then like they come down and fight them. Whoa! <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Oh. Like why did they have to I guess this is attack on Titan that's why. I was going to say why did they have to kill him? What the? <sighs> yep. What the? Wait. Oh. For a moment, I thought that was Annie. No, wait. Who's this? Wait, who? Oh, that girl. I okay. The girl with Mikasa, who who kind of. You know, like, looks up to Mikasa, that girl. I, f I thought it was uh, can uh, Annie for a moment. I was like, what's she doing here? Okay. No more pure titans. Yep. Trampling the world. Oh. Oh my god, Yelena, yeah. Wait, what happened to Zeke? Yo, move! Oh my god, I never liked Flock from the beginning, and he's like, you know... What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, where is he? Um, um, is, is he here somewhere? Oh no, he, oh, Connie took him, I forgot about that. Completely. Oh, great. God. For four years. Oh God. I don't think he can, even he can do that. It's not that easy. Yeah, like, no, no, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. And he's coming out. And he's coming out. Yeah, Annie, Annie is out. Probably now. There you go. That's why the name of the, the episode is Thor. Damn, it's been a long while we've even seen her. Like, like the season one was the first time, and now, like, <laughs> like imagine Annie's reaction. Annie's like, "Oh, I'm fighting Aaron." You know, knows nothing about what the hell is happening. Suddenly, she wakes up. And she's like, like everything's gone to, like, you know, like, imagine the reaction. My God. Like, like Annie's reaction would be something like, if you, like, you know, ask someone to watch season one of Attack on Titan, and then you suddenly bring him to this episode here. How that person will react, that will be Annie's reaction, I guess. But I guess Annie knew a lot of things, you know, a lot of inside things. You know, the whole thing with the Marlians and stuff, warriors, this and that. But still, you know, like, there will be that shock factor that will get her. She'll be like, what the hell happened while I was asleep? My god. Well, I'm glad that she's back, you know, like... I have to say, I, like, you know, I never, like, really hated Annie. She was, she was a cool character. And... Like, I thought, yeah, it would be nice if she someday comes back. And there you go, she's back. Now, the question is, how she will react to this? Will she... I'm pretty sure she will help us. I I'm guess I'm talking about um, Armin's team. But, yeah, let's see. There is still that chance that she might... I don't know. Uh, let's wait for it. Okay, that's the end. Now, okay, one thing I have to say: this this episode was kind of um a lot. <laughs> what can I say? Um, a lot tamer than the previous few episodes. Like the previous few episodes, where it's, like you know, so many like you know revelations, so many like you know uh, important information was just coming out like one after the other. Like from the beginning of the season, like every episode was like oh like something like you know like crazy happens, and then the next episode another crazy thing happens like it, it kind of continued while like you know in the sixth episode here we kind of got a little bit of a break here with the crazy stuff happening like i don't think any crazy stuff happened this episode like not in that scale you know not in attack on titan scale crazy stuff happened here still but i'm talking about the in the scale of attack on titan you can just like for example in the previous episode we got to know like the actual truth the past and before that we kind of got to know about the whole thing with Aaron and like you know uh, Zeke how Aaron has been whispering stuff to his dad like you know that type of crazy stuff in that level you know every episode we were having one after the other and here um it was a lot tamer than the previous episodes <laughs> and probably from the next episode like episode 7 I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get see something crazy again <laughs> like that's how it goes but yeah, uh, we got a little break here with the crazy stuff happening. Um, uh, like here we basically see what the other people are doing. You know, like what the um, the Jaegerist, the like, you know the scouts, you know, and uh, what uh, you know the other people, the Marlians, the like, you know the Eldians, subject of image, this and that. What all of them, how their reaction is, how they're taking this, what's happening to them. And what the titans are doing like you know wrecking havoc in this whole place that's what we got to see here um i'm pretty sure from in the next episode we're probably going to get to see a little bit about annie and then we're probably going to resume to aaron's perspective and see what the hell he's trying to do and what what is happening there uh in his like you know through his eyes uh so yeah okay so this episode here um, okay leonhardt um, okay, I understood. Uh, I remember that. It, it's been a while I've, like, you know, um, seen Annie, so I forgot what Leon Hart actually is. Uh, like, you know, whose dad it is. It's, it's Annie's dad, isn't it? Annie Leon Hart? I think that was his, her name? Yeah. So I'm guessing that's Annie's dad. Yeah, most probably. So, <clears throat> obviously she is outside, you know, the walls. She's in, in Marley territory. And, um, so, so all the subjects of Ymir was able to hear that. 
So I'm guessing anyone who's out like not, who's not the subject of me, they did not get to hear that. So like the all like the, the outside world doesn't know about it. That means like um like I I was just saying you know like in the in the, when the beginning in the beginning when um uh, I think Gabi or someone said about something about like no not Gabi who said it. Someone said it, I think, yeah, I think it was Gabi or someone, said something about, like, oh, oh, no, no, not Gabi, sorry, Reiner, Reiner told Gabi to go and, like, you know, inform everyone about this whole thing. I was like, why, like, we already got this, like, you know, information, like, you know, I tell it pathetically told everyone, you know, uh, so why do we even need to go and, um, like, you know, let them know, because they already know this. And then, like, by the end of it, I realized, like, nah, I, I was wrong. Like, he actually only, like, you know, obviously, like, you know, he's connected to Ymir. So, she could only, like, you know, converse with the people who are the subjects of Ymir. So, people other than that know nothing about it. That's why I'm guessing Reiner told uh, Gabi to just go and inform everyone. Because it's, like, a limited amount of people knows about this. So, she needs to go out and, like, you know, talk to the higher-ups and say, like, oh, this is happening. So, that they can take countermeasures. That's what Reiner was saying. I realized that. Okay. <clears throat> right, so in the beginning, we see Reiner and Gabi trying to find out Falco. And Reiner, Reiner was correct here. Like, Reiner said something like, oh, most probably Pony and John took him because, you know, she, he's one of the nine titans. So his power is definitely needed. And that's why they took him. Now, okay. Then, as, as I said, like you know, then Reiner tells Gabi to go and escape and tell everyone uh, about this stuff. And uh, as I said, like you know, this, in this part, I had a little misunderstanding. I thought like and will communicate with everyone, but obviously, if you think about it, like you know, like how he he couldn't do that. He's only connected to Ymir, so I, he could con con connect with the subjects of Ymir. Uh, people other than that, obviously, he wouldn't be able to do that. At that moment, like, you know, with so many things happening, it did not uh, register in my head. So I was thinking, like, why do we even need to go outside? You know, like, Aaron already told everyone, but no, that's not how it got, went. But yeah, that's what Reiner tells Gabi to do. And <clears throat> Gabi is, like, you know, telling a lot of things, like, you know, saying, like, oh, can't Aaron, like, you know, just... Uh, you know, like, uh, no, what did she say? Just a sec. No, she says, like, oh, we need to kill Aaron, this and that. He's, she's just, like, you know, um, saying all that stuff. And, oh, my God, then, <laughs> then that scene, as soon as she you know, kind of parts her hair and, like, you know, puts it in the back and stands in front of a mirror, I'm like, what is happening? Is this going to be, like, another Aaron? Like another Tatakae scene or something like that. And <laughs> but thank God she did not go that far. Like, you know, that scene, like, you know, when Aaron, the whole Tatakae, you know, like, looking out in the mirror and the whole thing that Aaron did. <laughs> That's when we knew, like, everything's gone wrong, you know, and it started going in a bad direction. And look at Aaron now, what he's doing. He's decided to destroy the world. So I was like in a little bit scared as soon as I saw Gabi doing that. I'm like, what the hell? Is this going to be like another Aaron or something? Like, you know, but <laughs> thank God she's just not gone that far. She, she's, she's going to help, you know, like the people that she knows trying to find um, Falco out. And that's what like, you know, she, that's why she kind of parted her hair and um, decided to fight against this whole thing. But yeah, um, boy, like, you know, like Gabi had a huge, what can I say, you know, chances of becoming like Aaron. <laughs> Gabi was perfect for it, you know, like, so, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, so then we get shifted to the other scene where, as Reiner told, um, Falco has been taken by uh, John and Connie. Now, oh boy, like, they were like, first of all, they were like talking about the whole thing, about what Aaron did and everything, and the implications, like, up until this time, like, they realized that whatever was happening was actually to protect them. And he, like, you know, Aaron has decided to sacrifice the whole world to protect them. And it does, like, you know, what can I say, like, the way they were talking there, it, like, like think about this whole thing, you know, like, if you are in uh, Jan... Uh, Mikasa army's shoes, you know, like, um, and you, like, you know, get to know about the truth, like, yeah, Aaron has been doing this all for us, 
you know like what can you even say like i'm pretty sure like enough uh, from within those people within like you know their group i'm pretty sure probably armin you know has a little bit of uh hesitation in this plan because this is basically you're sacrificing world to like you know save us you know like so many innocent people are going to die this and that like the 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 moral compass kind of like you know it, 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 it's bad here like you're doing so many wrong things you know like so many people who are innocent are going to die because of this but if you are in like you know their shoes like you know like it's a weird position to be in because you realize that Aaron is actually doing these to save you so being in that position like you know actually saying stuff like oh this is wrong it's 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 really weird in my like you know like for the person saying this because Ed is doing this to save you and you are like you know like saying like oh this is wrong so it's it's like a very weird position to be in you know like it, it takes i have to say like it would probably take a lot of guts to actually stand in the shoes of like you know um uh, john uh, mikasa and Ar armin and say that oh what Aaron is doing now is wrong you know, it, it it takes a like you know what can I say because because like you realize that you are basically um denying a person who is doing something to save you, you know, and because of who you are still alive, you're basically saying something that denies the thing that he, that person is doing. So it, it's basically like you are biting the hand that is feeding you. I I can like you know use this metaphor here, I guess, if you think about it in that way. So it is like a weird thing to like, you know, be in position to be in. But obviously everyone knows what's happening here. This is the thing that Aaron is doing is definitely wrong. Like, you know, uh, especially because a lot of people who don't even know about this thing, a lot of innocent people are going to die. So that's definitely wrong. <coughs> now, here's a lot of things like, you know, kind of, like, you know, a lot of questions come up. Mm, the whole thing about why Aaron is unable to control all the titans now i like this part i also was uh, i'm not able to properly understand like i can understand why he's able to control all the titans in the walls but why isn't he able to control maybe because they're not subjects of Ymiri? is that why like oh my like there's so many things in attack on titan that i, I like i'm pretty sure they the reason here can be deduced deduced why the titans are not being able like you know were, were unable to Aaron wasn't able to control them from a lot of previous information but because this is an attack on titan i think i probably forgot like you know a vital piece of information that actually makes you understand why this is happening so if this is no spoiler let me know why was he unable to control all these titans i probably forgot you know that I, i'm pretty sure i know the reason but i cannot like you know uh, I cannot think of it now. But anyways. Yeah, so. Then the whole thing about Falco comes up. Alright, so first of all. Um, John says that like he's going to feed him to Pix, General Pixis. And then Connie comes up with Connie's like, no, I'll feed it to my mom. Now, oh boy, like. Like, here's the thing, like, you know, like. I can understand where Count Con is coming from, like as, as especially in the end when they explain how she has been going there for four years, I think, just visiting his mom, and now that like you know they have like a chance, he is trying to take that chance, feed uh, you know like the Titan to her mom, and so that his mom is able to come back. But like I don't know, like. Like, I can't say anything in this position. Like, that's, like, you know, as I'm saying, like, you know, I can understand what he's going through. And, like, you know, like, I, like, I'm pretty sure no one will be able to, like, you know, say that, oh, he's wrong. Like, because, like, <sighs> can I say, like, he is, like, you know, uh, what can I say? Like, he's getting, like, you know, his emotions, his emotions is winning here. And, this situation like i'm i'm pretty sure everyone everyone went through something you know the people who like I, like i think like the thing that connie said there is like do you have any idea of what it's like to see my mom like that every time like you know like how, what do you know and he kind of says uh, something like this like i think uh connie saying that here was 
probably wrong because some way or the other every each and every people here has gone through something you know like just like how connie lost her mom and like you know like and going to see her every four like you know for four years and this whole thing just like this uh armin has like you know gone through something you know Aaron obviously Aaron has gone through so many things um mikasa went through a lot of things john went through we don't even know anything about john i guess john also went through quite a lot of things yeah obviously like and like every each and every people here went through something like this so connie actually saying like obviously he was emotionally heated up i understand that that's why he said that um but you know like it's not that he only has it rough everyone has it rough so uh, like you know like uh, yeah like this is again this is another weird position to be in like what do you even say to connie you know in, in this position what 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 do you say to him you know like like you understand what like you know what he's trying to do and you you know that like yeah this is like a very emotional thing for him but this is the middle of a war and he is letting that emotion get you know like yeah like i i i can't say anything here because i can understand what he's like you know like what he's feeling and what he's going through so I was going to say like yeah like this is like war you you cannot do anything about this you know like you have to let go of the past this and that i was i was going to say all of that thing but uh, yeah I, I don't think i'll be able to do that because as i said like you know, i can understand what con is going through like like you know like it's understandable like like seeing your mother like that for like four years just stuck there in titan form like like you can't even do anything to that like you know like because it's a mom and uh, like that this whole thing yeah you you know what let's drop this subject like, you know i i don't think i'll be able to like you know like i was thinking about like you know saying a lot of <laughs> what do you call it um like you know <laughs> stuff like oh this is war you know like stuff like this happens everyone went through something like this it's especially in attack on titan you know everyone gone went through all of these like you know problems and someone has like everyone has their own things you know you should not uh like you know uh, act like this, this that's why you should think about it anymore i was going to say all of these things but yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do that because I can, like, you know, I, I can pretty much guess what's going through Connie now, and I won't be able to say that. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably what happened to John, uh, Armin, and Mikasa as well. Like, I'm pretty sure they also wanted to say all of this stuff to Connie, but they weren't able to do that because, like, they know, like, since they know the pain, they can understand what Connie is uh, going to and they can understand that that like that little hope that he has like oh my I will be able to bring my mom back you know how difficult and how um you know sad it is to crush that and just you know deny the whole thing so I'm pretty sure that's why they weren't able to say anything and obviously like you know like the, the titan attacked like from the middle and like you know took them by surprise and Connie took that like, you know opportunity to grab falco and just run now i don't know what's going to happen to falco like obviously i i don't think he's going to be like you know fed to connie's mom because if that really happens this is going to go in a really weird direction like connie's mom is going to get one of the nine titans powers and then she's going to like <laughs> have to fight or something like it's going to go in a very weird direction so i don't think that's going to happen <laughs> you know so but but i wonder what is going to happen how maybe falco is going to i don't know like maybe someone's going to find connie maybe connie himself won't be able to like you know feed him to her mom his mom like that might happen you know like maybe he's going to go there and when he's going to feed it to her mom some his mom you know something might happen and he might not be able to do that eventually so we'll have to wait for that but anyways that's that yelena is in shock completely Yelen is like, what the hell? Why is Zeke not controlling them? What is happening? This and that. And <clears throat> yeah, and then we get to see um, the whole thing with the uh, Browse family. And um, what was her name? Kaya? Yeah, I think Kaya. That was her name, wasn't it? Yeah, Kaya. Uh, Kaya, like, you know, kind of trips and falls. And this Titan kind of, like, you know, tries to eat her. In comes Gavi and uh like i'm glad like you know gabi kind of came here and like you know saved her and tried to like you know catch up with her this whole thing like <clears throat> because yeah like this this definitely was needed 
at least for them like they they like you know when when they were like friends and everything it, it was sad to see like you know the relationship kind of break down because of that whole uh thing about oh like she killed sasha and this and that um so it's nice to see them actually kind of talking about it and catching up like as as like you know like um i again forgot his name the guy who liked sasha uh you know that guy what was his name i forgot it again anyways uh, just like he says like everyone has a devil within them like that's that's basically it you know like since like you know, everyone has that and like if you think about it in that way the thing that sasha and uh, not sasha like sorry gabi did at that moment according to her point of view like you know that was like you know the right thing to do i guess you know and um like as they say like you know right and wrong is sub subjective like they were basically like an enemy like you know thing so like it's definitely wrong to kill someone like that i guess but if you see it from gabi's point of view i can you can say that yeah she at that moment she was brainwashed and everything and you know she wasn't able to take a proper correct decision and like the devil inside her probably did that if you think about it in that way so yeah like it is sad like what 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 can you even do in this situation but you know the whole thing with sasha it's still sad like you know like i i still like i'm i'm pretty sure like this is the same thing with kaya as well like just like i like as i said before you know i kind of mentioned this before in one of the previous videos like i will probably never be able to forgive you know uh, gabi for killing sasha i I'll, I'll never be able to do that but i can accept that yeah like nothing you can do nothing about it and like you know since i i cannot like since i cannot forgive gabi up for the thing that she did it does not mean that you know like i'm against her or something like that i won't be able to forgive her but at the same time like the, if she does something correct you know i'll obviously be happy about it and you know like something like that i don't know if i'm able to explain it properly i'm pretty sure that's the same thing with kaya here as well i'm i'm sure like not only kaya but you know sasha's dad and like you know her family everyone no one will be able to forgive gabi for what she did she took the life of that child know and kaya's sister so no one will be able to forgive her for that ever i don't think so but but still they can get along that's that's what i'm saying you know they can get along like no need to forgive her but you can get along so something like that i guess so i'm pretty sure for kaya it's also something similar i doubt she'll be able to forgive her ever for killing sasha but still they can they can at least make up and just you know patch the relationship up and talk like we can become friends again i guess i don't know if, if that's something but that's how i see this whole situation you know like gabi comes in gabi saves um kaya and uh, that was like a nice <laughs> the way she shot that was nice it's <laughs> just kind of jumped and shot the titan like damn okay and <clears throat> Okay, then this this uh, random people like you know the the scouts come in and they're like, oh, what's happening? Like, is she a Marlian? Like, you know, and kind of aims a gun at her. <laughs> and Kaya's like, no, no, they, she's family. She's one of us. And yeah, like I was going to say, like, uh, like she's saying that, oh, she's family. So how does it explain how she shot the Titan? And then like you know the uh, the, the the guy the guy who liked Sasha as i said i forgot his name he says like oh i i i shot it you know like she's not the one who shot it i shot it i i was like a like you know previous marlian then i was like a prisoner so i was the one who shot it and mm. I, i'm like yeah that's a more plausible explanation because obviously if she, like you know like gabi's part of their family how did she shoot it like you know like it's like a, <laughs> like a, if she's a civilian how can she shoot a titan like that but anyways okay and yeah and then here's where it comes the whole thing with the devil you know as she says as he says like the world uh uh like it's like this because there's a devil in all of us and we need to get out of the forest so yeah like we like this is obviously like and everyone knows this like there is definitely a devil in all of us people suppress that from like you know from from their birth and there are a lot of people who are able to 
you know, suppress that in a very like it, it, it varies you know like that's why like in the people's personality like some people are kind of like you know aggressive and like that you know they are unable to suppress that devil within them while there's a lot of people who can suppress that very well and that's why they are like you know kind and you know like there's there's bad and good in everyone like i think there's like a, there was a thing i don't remember the whole thing but i think i've heard somewhere like there's like two uh, what do you call it trains of thoughts one thing says that people are born good like i don't know where it comes from but i've heard about this like one person like one philosopher someone i don't know who it is who it was but there's someone who said like everyone is like you know born good it's the surroundings and everything that makes them bad and like you know like like they can become evil it's the surrounding and everything after being born that they are changed while there's another train of thought where i think like said someone else said something about everyone is born bad and like you know like the outside world the kindness and everything like you know it it, it makes us good something like that i don't remember the actual thing but it kind of reminds me of that you know as she says like you no know, like there's a devil in all of us it kind of reminds me reminded me of that whole thing i don't remember what it actually was the the saying but it was something like that but yeah anyways um <clears throat> okay uh then like you know to see everyone fighting and everything like that whole scene of you know on top of the tower where they use the like you know the thing the, the torpedo thing or whatever i forgot the name that they use um that like very much reminded me of the first season where you know like in that tower where they get down with the rifles in like armin made a plan like shoot the eyes make them dazed and like you know all all the other scouts will come down on like you know slash their neck and kill them that whole thing it reminded me, me reminded me of that like, you know the way the kind of like you know is like in a circle and just jumped down and shoot shot all those like you know torpedo things and um here we see pixis again and it's sad like you know thinking about like how pixis was a really good guy you know like he he believed in eren and everyone when no one believed in them and you can you can say that the the position they that they are in as just like armin said you know the position they are in is probably because of him because if if he was not there like eren would have been killed in that moment so it's because of him either eren would have been killed or they would have run away and become fugitives or something like you know something would have happened like that so it's because of him that they are in this position and seeing him like this it's sad and like i really was shocked when i saw in the previous episode that you know like pixies also turned into a titan like that really shocked me and it makes sense you know because he's like an alcoholic and everything he drinks a lot and that's why he obviously drank drank the alcohol and it had a uh, zig spinal fluid in it so it doesn't make sense you know why he turned into a titan and I sat thinking about the whole situation and seeing what happened to him like he was a he was a really good guy good commander good person now we have to kill him put him out of his misery and uh, yeah fixes is gone and then we see like you know everyone fighting that girl was also there like, you no know, the one who really respects mikasa and Gaza, you know, killed Titans and all that stuff was happening. And uh, like it was over, like and most of the Titans were gone, except the ones in the walls. They're just going on their own merry way <laughs> to destroy the world. Um and like, Oyankopon asks them about what the actual Ray Dream was. Now okay, here's the thing, and the, here in comes Flock. Now I don't know like I, I feel I never really liked Flock you know I don't know why but he really kind of like you know rubbed me the wrong way from the beginning like you know from from the first episode when he was like you know introduced that whole thing like I've seen a lot of people like you know like sympathizing with Flock and everything and, and like you know when season 3 or season 4 it was something you know when the whole thing with him talking about um, what was his name? Erwin, Erwin, I forgot his name for a second. What the hell am I, is wrong with me? Um, you know him talking about Erwin, the whole thing, you know, and like you know the way he acted there and everything. And I'm like, and I, I can see that at least in that in that season, I I could like you know understand what he was trying to say. But after that, you know, I don't know. I never really liked him after that. You know, 
at least at that position he was defending Erwin and trying to do that whole thing but then after that I, I don't know why but I started really disliking him like especially the way he does his stuff and everything and obviously I'm pretty sure a lot of people dislikes him now because we saw what he did in the previous season you know like the way he treated everyone and just like you know just beat everyone up and everything like all that stuff like I, I really don't like Flock and like here again like he he's like kind of acting cocky and everything takes the gun and points it at Yelena and now okay here's the thing uh he says Yelena assemble the volunteers you have been detained what I, I don't understand what's the point of detaining her now like, you, you, you see her you see how she is what what is the, even the point of No wait what this is it What's the kasur Like detain wind like you know she she won't be uh, I guess like you know like she won't be able to act freely after this I'm guessing that's what she he means by being detained or am I you know understanding this whole thing wrong like if that is it then like what's the point I, I guess the I don't know like I don't know what he did there but like I don't think this is the time for this like, you know like the whole world is going to be destroyed I guess but I guess he's happy about that so yeah but yeah like I never really liked Flock from the beginning and like he still annoys me I, I don't know why like that's just my opinion you know i'm i'm pretty sure there was like you know there's there's a lot of people who really like flock likes flock i don't know why like and i don't see this whole thing like like in i guess in attack on titan you can say like as obviously because, like except the really bad people for example um what's his name mr rice like you know like uh, historia's dad that guy him and a few other characters you know who are very bad and everything you know Except them, you know, um, at least I really don't have a dislike for any particular character in Attack on Titan. Like, everyone's very, very cool and very good. Like, I, I really like all the characters. Except this guy, Flock. Yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> That's just me. But, yeah. <laughs> like, funny, like, you know, like, like I, I do understand why, like, you know, like, as, as, as we can see, like, you know, like, here people are basically in the very... Uh, like not neutral I won't say it's neutral but the perspective really changes like you know when you see something from one perspective you feel like oh they're doing the right thing and then you go to the other perspective and see it from the Malian's eyes like you know like Gabi and all of them and you realize that oh they're also doing their own thing and they're doing the right thing in their perspective so you really aren't able to hate any person here you know obviously the, like there is an exception for me I guess I don't like flock that's basically it but other than that, like, you know, I'm pretty cool with all the characters in Attack on Titan. Every character. I'm pretty cool with them. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Now, uh, Armin, like, you know, Mikasa, all of them comes down, meets uh, Gabi. Gabi's like, okay, like, you know, I, I don't want any more problems. I just want Falco back. And Armin is like, oh, this, like, you know, Connie has taken Falco away. And Gabi, like, like I'm glad that Gabi has actually changed here. You know, like the the big difference here that we can see, like if this was like you know the previous Gabi, as soon as uh, you know uh, Armin would have said something about like Connie taking and uh, running away with Falco, he would have probably started looking for a gun or something, you know, and just like, <laughs> try to kill Armin or something like that. He would he would she would time berserk here. So I'm. I'm I'm kind of happy that you know like she she actually changed she actually didn't do anything like that she she just was like like you know very um uh, what do you call it very sad about that and he was like you know asking Armin about why can't Aaron do anything about this and I do wonder if he can like you know change uh the Titans no he cannot as as Armin says like you know like if he was able to do that he would have changed the uh you know like uh, commander pixies and all of them back to their form so uh, he would have done that 
but since he did not do that it's not possible for him like yeah that would make sense like if he had that power i think a lot of things would have been different so he probably doesn't have that power but okay and then suddenly like by like you know talking about this whole situation gavi says like oh reiner's like you know hardening like you know like, what did she say uh seeing how he stripped reiner of his armor i don't see why not there you go um that whole thing and Armin is like wait so you know the hardening has gone and then he kind of you know puts everything together he's like oh um Annie's back and there you go at the last scene we see Annie's just waken up woken up and she's like what is this where am I what's happening and yeah she's going to get the shock of her life I can't wait to see how she'll react to this whole thing my god all right, that was it. So Annie's finally back. I'm glad Annie's back. You know, as I said, like you know, I I, I kind of liked her when she was like, you know introduced in season one. There was a lot of things. Like, yeah, she was doing the correct thing from her perspective, just like all the other characters in Attack on Titan. Like, you know, but at that moment in season one, we did not know that. So it's funny to think, like you know, like I've seen a lot of people actually uh, like react negatively to Annie in season one. You know, when season one was like you know aired and everything i've seen a lot of people hating on annie and saying oh annie like you know this that like and i wonder how they are going to react now like you know now at least in this point in season four we can see like it's like attack on titan is not that simple it's not like you know bad or good there's no distinction there's like a very like you know, hazy line about bad and good like you know everyone's bad in some way everyone's good in some way so you cannot just point fingers at someone and say, oh, that person is bad, this person is good. No, not in Attack on Titan. So I wonder the people who actually really hated in, on Annie in season one, I wonder how they will react at least at this point. Because you cannot, like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure no one will be able to point their finger at anyone, any particular one, and say, like, you know, in season, like in this final season, and say that, oh, this person is bad, because there's no one like that in Attack on Titan. Everyone bad in, everyone's bad in some way, everyone's good in some way. Like, this is one thing that I really like about Attack on Titan, is, like, I've, like, you know, I've seen a lot of people, not only in this anime, you know, like, a lot of people actually judge characters, you know, so harshly from the beginning, like, they do something wrong, and the like you know like the comments and everything they're like oh this person bad 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 like you know like like the, like they start like you know with pitchforks they start like you know attacking that character like i never really understood this whole like you know thing like people should try to look at both the sides of of the of the thing of the of that character like, you know as they say like people are not born bad as i said you know i i believe that like you know surroundings and circumstances make them bad so especially in anime, this is very much prevalent where we see a character cannot be determined by just looking at the outside cover. And there's a lot of things going on inside the, the, the whole thing. So if someone does something bad, you know, you should first at least stop and wait for their backstory. <laughs> That's what you do. Stop, wait for their backstory. If they're still bad, then you, you can point your finger at them. But like, you know, usually like, you know, there is something, some way or the other, like they are redeemable. And there are obviously some characters that gets redeemed as well. So you should not be quick to point your fingers at characters. Not only in anime, I'm in, in the general world as well. Like, you know, like, don't point fingers at someone just because, like, one thing that they did or said is, like, you know, wrong or something. Like, you know, um, like, just, just wait for it and try to see more into that person. If that person is genu genuinely bad, then it's okay. You know? But th there is, like, you know, like, people go through circumstances, like like it's not sunshine and rainbow rainbows like you know everybody's not life is not like that so yeah like like attack on, I, I really love attack on titan because of that one reason because it actually shows characters like you know like it, it actually shows that oh like everyone has bad in them everyone has good in them it actually shows it like that and uh like yeah like like, which which is really like you know difficult for a lot of people to understand because they are very quick to point their fingers and judge characters just because one thing that they did and i really don't like this you know i kind of like you know try to give characters like a second chance most of the time second or a third chance so like yeah and then i kind of judge characters at least that's how i do stuff and i'm glad like attack on titan is something like this where it actually makes you think like oh is this person bad or is this person good or is there something else within them?
but anyways enough about that so yeah wow that was a long discussion so thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to attack on titan episode uh, final season uh part two episode number six so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out but no spoilers so yeah that was it thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with the next episode of attack on titan the final season until then goodbye and have a nice day